Well, hey, 30 minutes of the most boring video you've ever watched. Congratulations if you're still here. If you've dropped in at the third part, then uh, don't go and watch the rest. <laughs> Unless you're me and you have to remember this. Left Eye 2. Um, but this might give you an idea of custom tools. I don't know. I've been working in the games industry for many years. I, I released games when I was a 13-year-old boy. I released two commercial Amiga games uh, when I was 17 and 18. Ultimate Gloom, Zombie Massacre. Completely panned and hated by all, but they were still released. Um, so, this is the kind of thing you get used to. Almost good custom tools. But this is improving a lot. Left Eye 2, the alternative death. So then you go to, uh, so the first one was Pistol, right? Actually, the second one's Shocker. There's a bit of valuable knowledge there for myself. Right to left. Okay, so it must be this. Getting killed by a shotgun while facing left. Left Eye is a pistol. There he is. Falling. Boom. Exactly, there's a pistol person. Whatever, whatever. I'm in a weird fettle. Fettle being the jolly word for mood. Right die to. Okay. Shotgun. Dead. Left to right. So he's facing right. All right. And there's the second one. And that should be it. Boom. Yes, there it is. And you, there's light at the end of the tunnel. When you get to the end of this, you're like, oh, it's almost done. And it's generating all this data for me because I trust me doing it by hand is even worse. Left eye three is the uh, the rifle, M4. Okay? So left to right to left, M4, dead. Right to left, M4, die. Yeah, that's going to be it. Well, it does look a little bit different, doesn't he? And I would do the right version of that. In 33 minutes, you could have watched, like, an episode of Neighbours and, and started on, like, episode of Heartbreak High by now. Incidentally, I'll be watching some Doctor Who later. Looking forward to that. Uh, right Die 3. Shotgun. Oh, you can see how things get confusing because it's so mundane. Oh no, it's... Is it shotgun? Pistol? Rifle? Oh no, what did I do last? Okay, it was uh, M4 dead last day, you can see it there. So it is M4. Left to right. Sorry, right. M4 dead. Left to right. That'll be it. There he is, getting blasted by an M4, dying. And now we've got two left. Left shotgun hit two and right shotgun hit two. The very extremely strange alternatives to being hit by a shotgun that don't exist for any other weapon. Right. So, shotgun... There's the first ones I used, so it's not them. At least left, so it's right to left. Right to left. Yeah, so this is the second shotgun type here. Mm. Is it any different? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should just delete them. No, we did discover they were different, though, didn't we? I can check anyway in a minute with the test sprite option. Okay, nearly there. The pain is in generating the uh, ILBM data. Right shotgun hit two. Okay, shotgun. Shoot. Left to right. These seven. Yeah, these seven. 
See, the bad naming convention changes everything. But well, there we have it. Done. That's our last one. All of the data is generated here. Uh, I'm just going to back up my uh, my first one in case I've just ruined everything. Uh, just copy him. And then when I hit uh, generate, that will produce this guy at 902. Yeah. And there's the new actions. Before he had 18, yeah, I do want to reload. Now he's got 28. 28? Did I really add 10 actions? I didn't, did I? That's very strange. Did I add 10 actions? The more the actions, the better. So, now, uh, given that this is for my own use, I can test the sprites. This is what I would do if I wasn't recording it. And I'm just going to do exactly the same, just to make it the, the most boring thing anyone's ever seen. So you can select all of these. Right? This will display every action possible. And you can go to View, Print Extra Information. So now we can really see... And when I move my mouse, it speeds up, by the way. That's that's on purpose, uh, so I can speed up the gameplay, slow down the gameplay. Anyway, let's have a look at the two shotgun hits. Well, here they both are here. This is the first one. And it juts back, hands out. Second one, juts out. And his hands are definitely in a different position, and his head goes back. Well... Why there's two versions, I don't know, but it's good that I included them. And there is 28 actions here, according to up there. So now you've done that, you go back to um, Sprite Object. I forgot to add... Uh, what did I forgot to add? Left shock on head 2. And right shock on head 2. Okay. From up here. And I just copy these and call them the second ones. Well, this shows how many actions I added. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I don't know why it says there's more than that. But for now, I, I'm baffled and I don't care. When it crashes, I'll care. 71. Bandy cams coming up to 8 minutes. Uh, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. 72. And then we make that 73. And um, we call that... We'll call that Alt. Because I'm getting confused with all these twos. And sometimes these flippant naming of things can really haunt you. So think hard. But it is only just turned 9 a.m. right now. So you can forgive me for being... As weird as I'm being. I've added them. Now you go back to the instructions that you write for yourself. No existing one out of the GUI. Right, so we've done that bit. We've defined the constant in the sprite object. Well, we added it in the GUI. We defined it in the const in the sprite object uh, constant. We added the line to the ILBM using the GUI, which is all of that nonsense, which is more painful. Now in action.java, you got to make sure it gets caught and recognized. Well, then, then, then it's done. Then you just have to find a place in the game to trigger the action. And I'll probably stop the demo here, and then when I find it, I'll, I'll record and explain. But briefly, I'll do quickly these. You, you add one of these for each one, right? So you go... You take that. I've only got a few seconds left. You change this name for the one in the GUI change this for the constant you just added and you put it in for all six and then it becomes recognized and when you run if it isn't recognized you'll get an error boom that's how you add more actions to a sprite and that's how tedious it really is goodbye